בוקר טוב. Good morning. Buenos dias. Bon giorno. Sabach al khir. Okay. Welcome to the 2018 Arise Matchmaking Summit. You know, there was a, uh, there was a kindergarten teacher who came home after Christmas vacation. She came into the classroom and she said, she said, Vincent, how was your Christmas? And Vincent said, you know, I'm a, I'm a Roman Catholic, so we went to Mass on, on Christmas Eve, and then we came home and we stood around the Christmas tree holding hands as a family, and we sang Ave Maria. She said, that sounds beautiful. And Peter, what was your Christmas like? And Peter said, well, uh, my, my family is Protestant, so we had a, we had a midnight Christmas, um, Christmas Eve service, then we came home, stood around the Christmas tree holding hands as a family, And we sang Silent Night and then gave each other gifts. She said, wow, that's beautiful. And Irving, what did you do for Christmas? Irving said, well, we're Jewish, so we don't really celebrate Christmas. But our family owns a, a, a commercial department store, and we sold merchandise until 12 o'clock at night. And then we stood around the cash register as a family and holding hands, and we sang, what a friend we have in Jesus. <laughs> so. My hope is that today, by the end of this day, us Israelis will at least be able to say, what a friend we have in Christian business people who want to do business with us. And so we're so happy to see you here uh, today. I'm just going to give a few uh, technical uh, announcements. First of all, just regarding the, the general schedule of the summit. Uh, this morning, we're going to have a few short talks and greetings from the, our main partners that made this day uh, happen. Uh, that'll be followed by a few keynote addresses, including a, uh, an address from um, Minister Gilad Ardan, the Minister of uh, Strategic Affairs, uh, will be coming here. Um, after lunch, we're going to have, uh, we're going to have a few breaks, by the way. Uh, after lunch, we're going to have uh, tech demos here. So you're going to see some of the most exciting Israeli technologies in areas of artificial intelligence, uh, virtual reality, augmented reality. We're going to have a debate uh, regarding cryptocurrencies. Many of us are struggling. Depending on your age, you, you understand what cryptocurrencies are, uh, more or less. Um, but we're going to have a, a leader from an Israeli blockchain company debating somebody from the traditional banking sector to bring out those questions and issues that we're, we're all trying to understand. Uh, while the tech demos are taking place, in um, the room next door, we're going to have B2B uh, meetings, the business-to-business -business matchmaking meetings. Thank you for all you who responded so generously uh, to those invitations and requests. I'm happy to say that as of this morning, we have 265 confirmed uh, matchmaking meetings today, uh, which is, it exceeds our highest expectations. So thank you. I've often been uh, accused, um, rightly accused, and actually diagnosed with uh, ADHD, if anybody knows what that is. And so this is going to be an ADD-friendly conference, which means I'm not going to give long introductions to people. I'm not going to read long, boring CVs to people before I introduce them. What we did was we, we printed inside of your booklet uh, the bio of all of our speakers. So if you want to know more about them, you're welcome to read that uh, just for your convenience. I want to mention our folder, by the way, if I, if I already mentioned it. Inside, you'll find on one side we have the conference schedule uh, with all of the bios of the speakers attached to that. And on the other side, we have a very, very important document. Um, Arise and its partners, uh, the International Christian Chambers of Commerce, we produce this paper because in many of your countries, uh, there's a, a, camp, a PR campaign that says investing in Israel equals an abuse of human rights, which couldn't be farther from the truth. So we did a, a very... Uh, in detail, objective uh, a process, a project of gathering data to look at the um, corporate social responsibility, the CSR culture in Israel, and to compare it to international norms, showing that investing in Israel is actually a very socially responsible thing to do. And, we're at, and, and as a country, we're really ahead of the game uh, as far as it goes with many countries around the world with uh, 
corporate social responsibility, including integration of, of minorities, Arab minorities and Palestinians, etc., which is a very important issue. A lot of work went into this report, um, and so please uh, keep it, and uh, we hope that by the end of this summit, you'll be motivated to go back to your countries and share this information with your friends. Um, I also wanted to ask you to keep your tags on today. I hate wearing tags, by the way. I usually take them off the first thing I do when I'm invited to a conference. I'm leaving it on today just to be a good example to all of you. Um, but with your, without your tag, you'll have difficulty, for instance, getting into lunch or, or other places that uh, are serving this conference. Um, for those who try to get into this room or to lunch without their tag, we've instructed our volunteers to tackle and neutralize. Um, we, we said, don't shoot unless you feel like your life is uh, in threat. Uh, I'll just, uh, uh, just a last note. Um, when we come back after lunch, for those of you who don't have B2B meetings, please try to sit more towards the front, and that'll allow people who want to see the tech demos but need to go out to be in a B2B meeting, sit more in the back, and so they can come and go uh, more easily. We have coffee and refreshments that'll be served all day. If, if uh, you need to go and uh, provide for your um, caffeine addiction, you're more than willing to do so. Um, and we would just ask that you come and go quietly. And the last thing that we always have to say is pr please be courteous and, and, and put this on silent for those of you who haven't uh, done that yet.